New details now on the trial happening this week for the woman accused of leaving her newborn baby in a dumpster. Shelby Taylor pleaded not guilty to an attempted homicide by child abuse charge. Audrey Bisk is live now outside the Horry County Government and Justice Center. And Audrey, day one of the trial just wrapped up about 30 minutes ago. Yes, Eric, the pretrial motions just ended here a little while ago and the when the newborn baby was found in that dumpster in a trash bag, Shelby Taylor was 23 years old at the time and was already a mother to a 16 month old baby. Now the 14 panel jury was selected this morning and then the pretrial motions began. The state presented one witness and evidence with a former Horry County detective. The state also announced they will bring in a medical expert this week for the trial to talk about Taylor's psychological state. The newborn baby was found in a white trash bag tied with knots outside the Island Green Apartments in Saucasty on April 9, 2015. That same day, Shelby Taylor went to the police station voluntarily asking why she was considered a person of interest. I really don't want to comment on the facts. I can say that what we did here is very important. Uh, the judge <clears throat> listened to evidence and, 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 and strategies in the case. Uh, he, he deliberated carefully over how the case will go, gave us instructions uh, on how we will proceed. Former Horry County Police Department Detective Jeff Cobble was the first witness to testify for the state. He played an audio recording for evidence of the interview he had with Taylor after she turned herself into police. The judge says Taylor was one of the calmest people he's heard during an interview. And at the time of questioning, he says it's clear the detectives didn't believe she was a true suspect until her husband, Patrick Taylor, came in the room. Taylor said to the detective, sobbing, I got scared and didn't want my husband to leave me and then asked, am I going to jail? Taylor said it was her husband's baby, but she knew he didn't want a second child. For cross-examination, attorney Greg McCollum questioned the detective's interviewing tactics and said no rights were read to Taylor until the interrogation was underway. He also said Taylor gave birth alone in her apartment bathroom. She was taken to the hospital for two days and then went to jail. Of course, on behalf of uh, Shelby Taylor, uh, we're happy to present the case and, and, and are looking forward uh, to our day in court uh, so that we can explore all of her defenses and show exactly, you know, what's going on here. And uh, we look forward to doing that tomorrow morning. Taylor is out of jail on a $10,000 cash surety bond. Her bondsman was in the courtroom today as the jury was being selected. He said Taylor has checked in on a weekly basis and has had no problems at all. Once again, the trial will start here tomorrow morning at 930 and last all day. I will cover the entire trial and have live reports from here each evening. So stick with WMBF News. Reporting live tonight in Conway, Audrey Bisk, WMBF News.